We do not buy defective aircraft, expressed Tim Clark, president of Emirates. It means there will be risks if this airline places its trust in the A350-1000, especially as recurring engine issues continue to emerge. But what serious problems truly have on the A350? Why did this aircraft lose its opportunity with Emirates? Let's find out. The issue of the XWB engine on the superstar Airbus A350, the pride of the Airbus manufacturer, has suddenly heated up again after a worrying incident last year. A Cathay Pacific flight almost turned into a disaster when an engine caught fire in midair. The Hong Kong Air Accident Investigation Authority, AIA's preliminary investigation report, released on September 2nd, revealed the cause of the fire. The auxiliary fuel line of the Trent XWB engine ruptured, causing a leak and fire. Notably, the AIA suspects this incident is related to the maintenance process. Upon detecting the fire, the crew did not hesitate. They quickly shut down the engine, used fire extinguishers, and within just 59 seconds, all alarms were silenced. After circling to dump fuel, the A350 landed safely back in Hong Kong after a 1 hour and 15 minutes flight, ending a terrifying but fortunate journey. The engine inspection after the incident revealed worrying problems. A clear puncture on the braided steel pipe, black soot at the rear of the engine, and burn marks on the underside of the two engine thrust reverser cowlings. All these traces confirm the presence of the fire. Furthermore, investigators discovered five other auxiliary lines with frayed metal braiding or a collapsed internal pipe structure. This is a serious warning about the potential risk to other Trent XWB engines. The engine fire incident on Cathay Pacific's A350 served as a wake-up call for the entire aviation industry. Immediately, the European Union Aviation Safety Agency reacted quickly and decisively by ordering a one-time inspection of all fuel lines on in-service A350-1000 aircraft. And Rolls-Royce, the manufacturer of the Trent XWB-97 engine, also promptly issued a service bulletin on September 5th to address the issue. The EASA directive applicable to all Trent XWB-97 engines, excluding 34 specifically identified engines, mandates rigorous inspection of older engines, those that have exceeded 18,500 flight hours or 2,300 operating cycles and have undergone at least two shop visits. Notably, inspections conducted by Cathay Pacific following the incident revealed 15 other XWB aircraft in the airline's fleet with similar damaged parts requiring replacement. This is a worrying discovery, suggesting the problem may not be limited to a few engines. This incident once again highlights the importance of strictly adhering to engine maintenance and inspection procedures. It is also a reminder of the need to always be vigilant and prepared to respond to emergency situations that may arise at any time. Following the engine incident on Cathay Pacific's Airbus A350-1000, aviation authorities quickly took action to ensure the safety of other aircraft using the same engine type. Notably, the U.S. Federal Aviation Administration issued an Airworthiness Directive, A.D. 2024 2510, effective February 18, 2025, concerning the Rolls Royce Trent XWB 97 engine. This engine is fitted to both the Airbus A350 1000 passenger aircraft, the same aircraft involved in the Cathay Pacific incident, and the A350F freighter. The FAA Airworthiness Directive requires operators to comply with measures to address critical safety concerns. These measures include regularly inspecting and maintaining the fuel manifold assembly to detect signs of damage, wear, or leaks. This inspection helps identify potential problems early, thereby preventing serious failures that may occur. Furthermore, operators must strictly adhere to the mandatory actions and timelines specified in the European Union Aviation Safety Agency 2024 0174E. These actions include assessing the fuel manifold assembly for damage and potential wear, performing necessary replacements to prevent future failures, and integrating the AD's requirements into the maintenance schedule. EASA also allows operators to propose alternative methods of compliance through the FAA's Continued Operational Safety Branch for review and approval. Strict compliance with the FAA and EASA safety directives not only helps maintain the safety of the Trent XWB-97 engine, but also ensures compliance with aviation industry regulations, thereby helping to avoid potential legal and financial consequences. However, this is not the only problem that the Trent XWB-97 engine had to face. In the past, this engine has also encountered several other issues, 
In 2017, some Trent XWB97 engines were found to have premature wear on the compressor blades. Rolls-Royce and the airlines addressed this issue by increasing inspections and maintenance and also improving the blade design. The most recent incident is the one with Cathay Pacific in 2024 as mentioned above. Beyond these incidents, there have also been some reports of other issues related to the Trent XWB97 engine, such as problems with the control system or mechanical components. However, these issues are usually addressed promptly and do not cause serious consequences. The series of problems has seriously damaged the reputation of both the airlines and the manufacturer as customers begin to question the reliability of these products. Incidents like this are not just cost-related issues, but also leave a stain that is hard to erase in the minds of consumers. Although Qatar Airways, another operator of the A350-1000 has, stated that the issue with the Rolls-Royce Trent XWB-97 engine has not affected them, this does not mean the entire aviation industry is at ease. Despite Qatar's statement, this incident still raises concerns for other airlines about the reliability of the engine and their ability to receive new aircraft on schedule. Rolls-Royce, the manufacturer of the Trent XWB engine, is under heavy pressure from its customers and must act quickly and effectively to resolve the issue or risk losing trust in the market. This is not just a technical problem. It is a comprehensive crisis with far-reaching impacts on the global aviation industry. More significantly, the XWB engine, once a symbol of power and reliability, has now become a problem in the Airbus A350's journey to conquer the market. In particular, serious issues related to the XWB-97 engine are significantly impacting sales of the Beast A350-1000. This aircraft, which was expected to showcase all its superior capabilities to attract airlines, is now facing a major obstacle. The case of Emirates is a prime example. This prestigious Middle Eastern airline, which has repeatedly expressed disappointment with the delays of the Boeing 777X, they have ordered over 200 of this type, could well have turned to the A350-1000. However, engine-related problems have made it difficult for this favored aircraft to reach the Emirates. Tim Clark, president of Emirates, even publicly accused the Airbus aircraft's engine of being faulty, and that's why the airline didn't order the aircraft, despite the huge orders announced on the first day of the 2023 Dubai Air Show. The CEO affirmed that the Rolls-Royce Trent XWB-97, the exclusive engine option for the Airbus A350, is not delivering what we want on the A350-1000. He also stated that he doesn't want aircraft that are constantly breaking down and we don't buy faulty aircraft. Nevertheless, Clark also acknowledged that the Airbus A350-1000 is a good aircraft, adding that if Emirates were to order the largest version of the XWB aircraft, they would buy 35 to 50 aircraft. However, currently, the airline will not order this aircraft because the engine can only perform about a quarter of the cycles that Emirates wants it to perform, which is about 2,000 to 2,500 flight hours. With the continuous incidents occurring with this engine, perhaps Airbus will never be able to dream of replacing the 777X in the fleet of the luxurious Middle Eastern airline. Maybe on the Emirates battlefield, 777X is temporarily winning. So, what about the Riyadh air battlefield? While Emirates is turning its back on the A350-1000 due to engine concerns, another airline in the Middle East is seriously considering this aircraft for its fleet. That airline is Riyadh Air, the brand new Saudi Arabian carrier scheduled to launch in late 2025. Riyadh Air is urgently seeking next-generation wide-body aircraft to upgrade its fleet before its debut. According to Bloomberg, the fledgling airline plans to order an additional 50 jetliners, likely to be larger long-haul aircraft from Airbus or Boeing. The two leading contenders for this battle are the A350-1000 and the 777X. Securing these 50 aircraft is crucial for Riyadh Air, not only to build a powerful fleet for the future, but also to ensure these dream aircraft arrive at the right time. However, things are not so easy. Riyadh Air faces several challenges. First, the 777X's certification process is complex. Second, the scarcity of delivery slots due to prolonged delays in the global aviation industry is also a significant obstacle. Furthermore, choosing the 777X or the A350 will mark a significant turning point in Riyadh Air's development. It will shape the airline's fleet when it officially takes flight later this year and the airline cannot afford any further delays. In this context, the XWB aircraft may be a safer option for Riyadh Air. 
Given the difficulties the Boeing aircraft is facing, choosing the XWB aircraft could help Riyadh Air ensure its launch proceeds as planned. If this happens, it can be said that on another battlefield in the Middle East, the A350 has won. Currently, Riyadh Air's fleet includes both Airbus and Boeing aircraft. Boeing is represented by the 787 Dreamliner, the first aircraft the airline ordered, and which is expected to play a key role in the airline's long-term growth ambitions. Meanwhile, Airbus holds the A321 Neo Surrey's single-aisle jetliner considered a necessary weapon for the airline's more modest flight operations, while also complementing the strength of the 787. Will choosing Boeing aircraft before be the right approach for this airline? Leave your comments below. Thanks for watching and wish you safe flights always.